Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Selling a House Has Now Become Much Harder. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. Something very challenging is going on out there in the real estate market now. If you went out and bought a new house before you sold your existing house, then you may now be in for the shock of a lifetime. The reason is that people in that position are finding out that it has become a buyer's market and buyers are sitting back and they're not buying right now. So if you thought that you could carry two mortgages until you sold one of them, then you may have to carry both homes, both mortgages, uh, much longer than you originally thought you would. The number of people out there who bought a new house before they sold their old house is growing. A lot of those people are not in a position to pay two mortgages for more than a month or two. If that situation continues for six to 12 months, then many of those people will end up losing one or both of their homes. The weight of making two mortgage payments can be overwhelming. Some people have to carry two mortgages for so long that they can't do it and they have to refinance one of the homes, take out some money and use it just to keep both homes afloat until one of them sells. So what can you do to prevent this from happening? Rule number one, when you make an offer on a new home, always make it contingent upon the sale of your existing home. If you can't sell your existing home within X number of days, then tell them you don't want the house. Just let the offer expire and walk away. Also, insist on getting your down payment refunded to you if you can't sell your first house. Remember, everything is negotiable. A lot of people are desperate to sell their homes and many of them will accept those terms. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that you have additional escape clauses which allow you to cancel the purchase for almost any reason. If the house doesn't pass your inspection requirements, then you want to be able to cancel uh, the purchase at any time. If you purchase two homes already and you can't unload the first one, then don't assume you'll be able to unload it in another month or two. We're now heading into a very strange real estate market where things may uh, take much longer to sell than anyone realized. Even more problematic is the fact that your first house may sell for much less than you realized. You may end up underwater and getting less for your house than it's worth, or you may even get less than the balance of your mortgage payment. If that happens, then you may want to rent out your first home or start putting it on Airbnb. What matters is that you unload that house as quickly as possible. Something else you should consider. Maybe you shouldn't buy another house. Maybe you should just sell your first home and rent an apartment. That way you can sit back and watch the real estate market collapse over the next year or two. And then you can keep saving money. And hopefully uh, in the next couple of years, you can buy your dream home for a third of what you would have paid for it today. A lot of people feel that home prices will fall by at least two thirds over the next two years, and I'm one of them. If that's the case, uh, then that would be like hitting the lottery ticket for a lot of people. Not only would you save money on the, uh, the purchase price, but the, uh, you'll save money on the amount of property taxes that you pay, which uh, a lot of people expect to go down dramatically as well. Be patient and sit back and observe the market. Just watch how things unfold. Then, when you're ready, you can make your move. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.